Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to look good without any makeup. No, this is not a no makeup makeup look. I'm literally not going to use any makeup in this video. Just few tricks and tips that I like to use uh, if I do not want to wear any makeup. I know a lot of people just don't like to wear makeup on a day to day basis. So they can use this tricks and hacks to make sure you don't look like you've just woken up and walking out the bed. So that's what this video is about. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to watch it till the end and let's get started. So this is what you're working with. As you can see, my hair is extremely frizzy and dry at the moment. Summer season is my hair fried fry kar diye. Itni garmi, oh my god. Also, my skin is extremely tanned. It's dry, dull. There is no life on my face that we need to get back. My lips are looking so dry and chap. So yeah, we have a lot of work to get done. Let's get started. Step number one is shaving or dermaplaning. For this, I'm using the Bombay Shaving Company razor. I've been using this brand razor for quite some while now and I really like it. The blade is nice and sharp. I also like to apply some oil or serum before getting started. For that, I'm going to use Plum Grapeseed and Seabuckthorn Glow Restore Face Oil Blends. You could use aloe vera gel as well. I don't like to dry shave my face. It feels very irritated later on. So I like to apply some oil or serum, aloe vera gel, anything to create like a barrier in between and keep my skin moisturized throughout. You guys have seen me doing this multiple times, but I like to shave my forehead, shape my eyebrows, take care of the peach fuzz and also take care of my upper lip area. Now dermaplaning or shaving gets rid of the dead skin cells and hair from your face and it makes your skin surface smooth, youthful and radiant. I feel it really helps to get rid of the tan as well. Not only that but my skincare absorbs better and the makeup sits so well. Look at that, all the dead skin and hair piling up, ew. I'm gonna wash my face and boom, you can clearly see a difference in the before and after by just one step already. This is a very important step for me and I never skip it. You just need to do this once or twice a month, that's all. Step number two is eyebrow tint and for that I'll be using Tint My Brows Gel by Etude. You can use this product on your eyebrows and eyelashes as well but today I'll be using it only on my eyebrows. Brush your eyebrows and apply a thin layer of this product. There is definitely a trick and I'll share it with you today. Make sure to get rid of any excess product, just a thin layer is enough. Then brush your eyebrow hair down as you see me doing in the video and then apply this product mainly concentrating near the bald spots. You want this product to tint your skin where it does not have any hair. That gives the illusion of a fuller eyebrow look. I like to concentrate more product at the back and less product at the front because that looks more natural. If you put a lot of product in the front, it's gonna look too dark and bodhi ajeeb dikhega, trust me. If you don't want the hassle of doing your eyebrows every single day, this product is a life savior and a must have for you. Every wash ke baad ne, thoda thoda fade hota hai, but if you let it sit overnight, it will last you for a good week, I feel. I know it looks a little funny, so the best time to do this is night time. Apply it, let it dry and then just go to sleep. Do not remove it. And subhi utke remove kar dena and you're good to go. I'm gonna let this dry till then let's move on to the next step which is teeth whitening. A great smile makes a huge difference. For that I'll be using Daybreak Teeth Whitening Pen. Just twist it in the back and the product comes out. It's a very easy 30 minute treatment. Just brush your teeth and dry with a paper towel. Then twist the pen to dispense the gel formula. Smile wide and apply a layer onto the teeth and then just wait for 30 minutes and then rinse with water. 30 minutes are up, I rinse my mouth and these are the results. There is definitely a slight difference, obviously drastic difference the Hogani first use me. You need to keep doing this. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results. Now let's peel off the eyebrow tint as well. Now if you apply a thick layer, you can just peel it off with your fingers but as I have applied a thin layer, it's a little difficult ho jata hai, so I've used a spoolie and just brushing it off my eyebrows and I'm extremely happy with the results. Just look at them. It looks like I filled them in, right? Step number four is lip scrub. For that, I'll be using Bella Vita Organics Nico Lips. Take a generous amount and scrub all over your lips. This will get rid of all the dry, chapped skin on your lips. Once done, wipe it off and look at that beautiful, plump, soft lips. Step number five is to use a chemical exfoliator. For that, I'll be using Dr. Shade Medium Strength Peel. 
This has glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, salicylic acid, aloe vera extract, and centella asiatic extract. So a lot of active ingredients. So I would suggest just then up shave ya dermaplaning karo ke. Us din ye step mat karna. Give a day break and then dusre din ye karna. After dermaplaning, it's very important to let your skin rest and heal. So do the chemical exfoliation the next day and not on the same day. Apply a nice thick layer of this all over your face and let it sit for 10 minutes. If the packaging suggests 8 to 10 minutes, then do not keep it more than that. Packaging follow karo, please. You don't want to burn your skin. I prefer chemical exfoliation over physical exfoliation because it's better for your skin. 10 minutes are up. I wash my face and look at that radiance and glow. It's instant. That's what I love about chemical exfoliators. It gets rid of the tan, the dead skin, as well as blackheads and whiteheads. Gives you a very radiant glow that you can clearly see. Step number six is hair mask. Yes, we need to take care of the dry ends, right? For that, I'll be using L'Oreal Professional Metal DX hair mask. And I'm going to apply this on clean shampooed hair. So take a generous amount and apply it all over the lens. Massage it well, make sure each and every strand is coated evenly and then let it sit for 20 minutes. Step number 7 is nails. Yes, nails make a huge difference. For that, I'll be using Secret Lives Stick On Nails. What a cute set of nails, right? And to stick them in place, I'll be using Miss Claire Nail Glue. This is how my nails look before. I have trimmed them really short. It's nice and clean. That's how your nails should be. I love that this set comes with everything you need to prep your nails. First, I'm gonna figure out which nail pe, which fake nail fit better and then just keep it aside. Next, I'm gonna use the stick provided and push the nail bed back. This is very important. Trim and get rid of any extra skin. Buff the nails a little. This helps the fake nail to stick better. Next, I'm gonna use the alcohol swab provided and clean your nails. After this step, do not touch your nails. You do not want any dirt or oil on your nails. Prep ho gaya. now let's take the fake nails, apply a thin layer of glue on your nail and do this one nail at a time. Apply thin layer of glue on the fake nail as well. Uske baad stick it on your nail and push it back a little as you can see me doing in the video. This step makes it look real like it's your own nail. Uske baad achche se press karna sab jage se, sides, edges, bottom and everywhere for 30 seconds. And that's it, repeat the same on all fingers now. And this is the result. It's looking so freaking good. Ah, I love it. It's kind of giving a gel nail vibe. When you have fake stick on nail, lagaya hai. I used to do gel nails all the time, and that cost so much. Two to three thousand to kahi nahi gaye. And this is just for five hundred rupees or less even. 30 minutes bhi nahi laga mujhe karne ke liye and the results are so freaking good. It's been a week almost ki jab se maine ye lagaya hai and it's still intact. So yeah, a ten on ten. Okay, I'm back. My hair is nicely washed and dried. Look at the shine, the softness. It's looking so freaking good. The nails are done as well. So let's finish off this routine with last few steps. It's so freaking hot. I'm gonna put my hair back. Step number eight is tinted sunscreen. And the one I'm using is by the brand Requil. It's a sheer zinc tinted sunscreen. It's non-comedogenic, great for all skin types. Plus it has SPF 50 PA triple plus protection. This is my third purchase of this product. I really like it. This is great for people who do not like to wear foundation on a day to day basis. This way you get to wear your sunscreen and get a little bit of tint on your skin as well. The only downside I would say is it does not have a lot of color options. And it does look a little white at first, but it does oxidize to your natural skin color. This is how it looks. Again, very sheer coverage, but I like it for a day to day use. Step number nine is Vaseline. Yes, I think this is a product that every Indian household already has. I'm going to use this on my eyebrows first. So just brush it up. I don't have to fill them in because we tinted it, remember? So just applying a little bit of Vaseline to make sure it sticks and remains in its place. Kind of like a gel. And I'm going to apply it on my eyelashes as well. So quickly curling them a bit and apply Vaseline as you see me doing in the video. This gives a little bit of a wet look and opens my eyes a lot. I love it. Applying a little bit on the cheeks to give a natural highlight. Yeah, such a versatile product. Let's finish it off with the last step, which is lip balm. I'm using the Dot & Key Lip Plumping Mask. This has vitamin C plus E in it. I love that it moisturizes, plus it has a little bit of tint in it. So it adds a nice color on my lips. I'm gonna apply a little bit on my cheeks as well to give a blush effect. And with that, that's it. This is the final result.
that's it for today's video guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button also amazon has launched a beauty exclusive store called global beauty store where you will find all the top international beauty brands when it comes to hair care makeup fragrance lipstick skin care you name it everything is under one umbrella one hood so you don't have to go anywhere you just find all the products in one amazon site so that's great i'll put all the links in the description down below also ye video mein maine jo bhi products mention kiye hain wo bhi aapko links description mein mil jayenge i'll put my store front as well where you will find all the products that i have mentioned in today's video everything will be under one link so you don't have to scatter anywhere around that's it for today's video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button let me know in the comments down below what video do you want me to film next if you enjoy these kind of videos let me know that as well so i can make more videos as such and with that said i'll see you guys in my next video bye Upon that day, upon that day